on a wet day like this. So, so good to have Gizmo with us. Well, Gizmo, we got some bad weather out there, buddy. He'd disappear in some of those snow deer yeah, stuff in Durango. Yeah, he sure would. We got Where a lot going? of that stuff coming down. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get to the weather. Uh, we'll let Giz play here for just a couple of seconds. And we do have the, the heavy weather coming in. I have to say heavy weather because it is not all coming down in the form of snow. At least not yet. Now, there's a lot of snow out there. Don't get me wrong, but there's also a lot of rain. And we don't want to leave, out behind, leave behind, that is, some of the problems the rain can cause. Down in Grant's County now, flood warnings in effect. And you can see tremendous rainfall showing up down this way. Uh, just outside of Deming, headed towards Las Cruces and Hatch, maybe even up to around T or C. And, of course, the rain continues on up into the metro. So we'll go in just a little closer on this radar to the metro, first and foremost. And you can see our crew that's located west at Nine Mile Hill, well, they're in the rain. That's all the green there. It's a little further west of there. you got to go before things start to change over. Kind of thought it might be happening about right now, but still taking a little while to get that colder air in. Of course, there's plenty of cold air west towards Gallup and up towards Farmington and Durango, back into the southern sections of the San Juans and the Hamas. All of these areas picking up just a tremendous amount of snow, so we're going to be watching that throughout the morning. And, of course, we're getting those heavy rains that I alluded to down to the south, not just Grant County, but Hidalgo County also kind of getting in on the act here with a lot of that heavy rain. Now, as we check your temperatures this morning, we're not at the freezing mark in the metro, but, boy, are we getting close. 37 degrees right now. That's really a rain-cool 37 degrees more than anything else. 34 up in Santa Fe, but we have seen the temperature dropped to the freezing mark out west towards Gallup, where one of our other crews is located. And of course, as we can show you, there's plenty of snow out that way. And there's going to be a lot of snow. Forecasting another 6 to 12 inches of snow here in the northwestern part of the state today. That means about another 6 inches of snow in Gallup where it looks like a good four to five inches of snow have already fallen during the overnight hours. Mountain snows heavy to the tune of about a foot in the southwest. And then as you head towards the east, that's where weather, well, it is looking a little more tolerable, to be honest with you. Highs again, 60s, 70s. But there are problems in the east. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of wind out there this morning. We do have wind advisories and high wind warnings for many locations east of the central mountain chain. But mountains, those will be the focal uh, locations for the heavy snows over the course of the next uh, day to day and a half out there. And I do see another five or six inches of snow coming into Santa Fe also. Now, in the East Mountains, it's a pretty tough call because it looks like we're getting more rain than anything. But we do have reports in the higher elevations there, the East Mountains, that even this morning it is snowing. So when the colder air comes in, you'll be getting more snow. And eventually, rains will change to snow in the metro. As I've been saying all morning, computers are telling me two to two and a half inches of snow in the metro. Could we wake up and make a snowman tomorrow? Hopefully so. Two inches, I don't think Gizmo will get lost in that kind of snow. No, no, he could probably trudge through that. A little bit later, you're going to talk to us um, a little bit about some of the snow totals at ski areas. You bet. Now, All right. Now they're going to be doing good out of this store. They all love it. Let's <laughs> check the morning commute for you. And as Jason has been telling us, we don't have snow in the metro area right now, but there are a lot of folks coming into the city, and you want to keep an eye on things throughout the day, especially around the time you're going to be commuting home from work.